This is 7 News at 11. Now at 11, a rabbi shot while walking to synagogue. Tonight, police are searching for whoever is responsible. The religious leader was visiting from New York when he was shot in broad daylight. And tonight, the victim's grieving daughter is talking to just one station. The night team's Rosh Lowe spoke with her just a little while ago. Rosh is live once again tonight in Northeast Miami-Dade with the exclusive. Rosh. Okay, let me show you first off before we get into the story, the scene which is going on behind me. It is 11 o'clock in the evening, and as you can see here on Northeast 175th Street, many members of the Jewish community have come out here. They have come to the spot where a rabbi was shot and killed. Just about an hour ago, I was able to speak with the daughter of this rabbi. She spoke with just one station this evening, and she really wanted to get the message out there that as police investigate this, she truly believes this was a hate crime. I just know that someone shot him um, from the side. The bullet just went from the side here all the way down, went out. The thing is, it went through and it touched the heart. Shuli Lepkowski is still in a state of shock. Her father, Rabbi Yosef Raskin, was shot and killed when he was walking to synagogue Saturday morning in Northeast Miami-Dade. She says her father was killed in a hate crime. I don't know, I think it's a hate crime. We've been having around here too much. Why do you think it's a hate crime? Because I've, I haven't heard someone was shot just like that. They were maybe mugged. Miami-Dade police are investigating the shooting. They say at this point, they don't think it's a hate crime, but they add this is still an active, ongoing investigation. For the rabbi's family, it is quite clear. What do you want the police to do? I want them to start taking care of this neighborhood and sh stop telling me I had a robbery in my house two years ago, coming again home from the Sabbath. I come into my house, it's all upside down. They said they're gonna catch, they let them go. They caught someone, they let them go, and then it's going on and on and on here. They're not taking care of this neighborhood as much as other places and it's, it has to stop, it really has to stop. And now this daughter pleading with Miami-Dade police and the community for answers. I want them to find them and investigate the crime as a hate crime and I want them to take care of this place. All right, so that daughter is obviously devastated. The victim in this case leaves behind many children, many more grandchildren. As you look at this live scene in Northeast Miami-Dade, I want to mention this. The community is now offering a $50,000 reward. That's $50,000 if you have any information on who shot and killed this rabbi, Rabbi Raskin, who was walking to synagogue Saturday morning. We're live in Northeast Miami-Dade, Rosh Lowe, 7 News 19. Okay, Rosh, thank you. Team 7 coverage continues now. The night team's Lorena Estrada is also on that scene in Northeast Miami-Dade. A community is devastated. They tell us they don't feel safe. They are horrified that a short walk to Temple could end in murder. He was one of the most generous people out there. Rabbi Joseph Raxon shot and killed on Sabbath Saturday, a day of religious observance for the Orthodox Jewish community. The 60-year-old was walking to the synagogue in northeast Miami-Dade around 9 a.m. He was just a few blocks away when police say two men approached him. There was an altercation. One of the men pulled the trigger in broad daylight. John Lewis Dennis heard the gunshot and ran outside. I talked a little bit to him. He gave me his name, that he was from New York, and he told me that two males uh, were the people who did this. Raxon died at Jackson Memorial Hospital. Joseph Wax is a friend of the families. He tells 7 News Raxon was in town from Brooklyn, New York, visiting his daughter and grandchildren. No one ever imagined a short walk to Temple would end in a homicide. This is a big effect on the community. Uh, a, uh, a rabbi walking to Temple. I've got two beautiful children. I walk to Temple with them uh, every Sabbath in Miami Beach. Uh, it's devastating. The Anti-Defamation League expressing their condolences 
condolences. The league saying this is a terrible tragedy. While the motivation for the crime is still being investigated, nothing can justify the killing of an innocent man walking to his place of worship to pray on his holy day. The league says it trusts the Miami-Dade Police Department and like many in the community, the hope is that police find the men responsible for the senseless crime. When there's a real dark world out there, uh, Lighting a, a candle could really do a tremendous amount of good. And, and, and that's what we're going to uh, do in his memory. And uh, God willing, we're going to try to spread the love. Miami-Dade police still searching for the two men and they're still investigating this shooting, but they're asking anyone with any information to call Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at number 305-471-TIPS. Reporting from Northeast Miami-Dade, Lorena Estrada, 7 News 19.